Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we explore a feature in just a couple of minutes. Today we're going to learn how to use the cut planes in Examine. Shown here is an example of a structured block. Cut planes allow us to examine various parameters along slices through the block. Let's take a look. First, select the block, then go up to the Examine menu, and you can choose any of these parameters, but we're going to select Maximum Included Angle for this example. I need to mention that up here towards the top is a drop-down menu. You can select all of those various parameters that we were looking at without leaving the Examine panel. To use Cuts, we need to switch over to the Cuts tab. Select the middle tab. Note that when I push the green arrow buttons, we don't see any cutting planes. The first thing we need to do is enable the cutting by checking the box that says Enable Cutting. And already we see a cutting plane right here. Up here are the options of how this cutting plane will move. You can think of it as several groups here. We have X, Y, and Z, and we have I, J, and K. For this to make more sense, I'm going to show the axes. We have X selected, and when I push the green arrow, note that the plane moves normal to the X direction. I could choose Y, and it will move in a similar fashion relative to the Y axis, and Z relative to the z-axis. We can also use the block indices, the i, j, and k. And when we push the arrows, we see it stepping through the various indices here. There's i, there's j, and there's k. And at each slice, you can see the cell data referencing this histogram here. If we happen to like a particular cutting plane, we can save it. We go down here, to the Saved Cuts part of the panel. We push Save. We can do this several times. Save. We can even change the indices. And push Save. That can come in very handy, and it will save them for later. I want to talk about the green buttons some more. I'm going to change the type from Steps to Step Size. I want to step in two unit increments. And let's start at zero. Notice that when I push the green button, the cutting plane is moving in two unit increments. Let's take it back down to zero. And if I push the double arrow, it moves in much larger increments. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.